Welcome back everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am uh, here to tell you something that has been on my mind a little bit lately, but I don't know how to put it, so I'm just going to go out and say it. PokeTubers these days have gotten soft. And what I mean by that is they just are unwilling to say what they really believe. And I have been a part of that problem. I have been wishy-washy, I have been beating around the bush, and I've been afraid to say how I really feel about certain products. And I'm going to try to start remedying that situation because I personally... I understand where some of this hesitancy is when you're telling people to buy certain products, but I'm never telling people to buy certain products. More of what we're going to do on this channel is I'm going to tell some of my opinions about products that I believe are going to move in price. Now, whether you want to do something with that knowledge and speculate, invest, anything that you'd like to do with that knowledge is up to you. That is the... Uh, I'm not a financial advisor statement that comes in with most of these videos and I'm gonna go ahead and say it I'm not a financial advisor here so whatever we say should be taken with a grain of salt that being said I do feel like that phrase is tossed around in this Pokemon investing sphere far too loosely these days it's almost like nobody is willing to take a stance on anything and I get it I get it it's political you don't want to miss ruffle any feathers if I say that someone's sealed ETB collection is basically boxes or bag shaped like boxes that's almost me insulting their collection is what it seems like to someone who holds that but that's not intentional that is never the intent is to insult anyone's personal collection Basically, what I would like to start doing, though, is I'd like to start being a little more candid about certain things that I think are going to happen. And one of the main things that I see that I don't see anyone talking about right now that I definitely see a potential for is a, maybe a play on this little guy right here. Now, some of you who are looking here probably already know what I'm going to talk about because you watch me on WhatNot, and I've been talking about this on WhatNot for a, a few days now. But as of recently, Brilliant Stars has been getting a lot more difficult to find. And so what you're seeing on the screen here is a little look of the market of booster boxes for Brilliant Stars. And we're going to kind of take a look at this market. We see this little flame design that's uh, in the middle here. You're seeing the little... The design go up and down like a roller coaster or like I say like a fire that the market is on right now um, but this is something that you're going to see for the near future for many modern sets this sort of price appreciation and price depreciation as reprints come and reprints go but what I'm seeing now is more of a stabilization in the market for brilliant stars and so when I called up my distributor today I went and I, uh, I looked and this is the last case of brilliant stars I have and so whenever I'm about to open up the last case of any modern, ultra-modern booster case that I own, I always call my distributor up and ask him if that's ever going to be in the near future available to restock. Because if it's not, that usually means that I need to either A, not sell or not open that case and consider setting it back if I want to have that box um, for the future set back, or B, I need to raise the price of that box and match that market raising price as we move closer to a reprint. So, what happened today when we called our distributor to ask about what was happening with Brilliant Stars? Well, the distributor said, well, hello there, old card shop. It was, uh, I'm sorry, ring, ring, ring. Well, hello there, car old card shop. How are you today? What can I do for you? I said, well, how you, go how you doing there, Mr. Distributor, sir? I would like to order some more Brilliant Stars booster boxes if you have them anymore, sir. And he said, oh, I'm sorry about that, old card shop. We don't have any more, any more of those Brilliant Stars booster boxes. But you know what we will have soon? We'll have Evolving Skies at the end of the month. And so here we are. What is it? Um, June 7th, um, 2022. And Evolving Skies is the most in-demand set of the Sword and Shield block, without a doubt, hands down. But there's another set, Brilliant Stars, that is right on its heels that nobody's talking about right now. But this price, it's a hundred and what is it? hundred and thirty-eight dollars plus two shipping. So it's a hundred and forty plus dollars on TCG Player, and it's just climbing. And so I'm just here to tell you that I believe there are plays to be made in the short term. Heed my warning in the short term before Brilliant Stars gets its reprint, which hasn't been announced yet, I believe that Brilliant Stars will have some time and some plays to be made in the near future. So, what you do with that information is up to you. But I just want to be 
a little bit more transparent and a little bit more candid about what I'm seeing in the market. And I, I just think it's fun to talk about this stuff. So if you think I'm a little too harsh on other PokeTubers, I'm not talking about anyone in specific. Uh, if you think I'm talking about you, I'm most likely not. Uh, I love all of the Pokemon community. I'm a part of all of it as well. So I just like to, I'm, a, I'm very I'm a very opinionated. So hopefully this video um, was informative and maybe fun to watch. And we're going to be making more of these market videos, sort of short little candid takes on what we see happening in the market in real time a little bit more often. And I hope that will encourage other YouTubers to do so as well. Because I think that it's, it's, it's one thing to be cautious, but it's a whole nother thing to make content and say nothing at all. And so what's the point of making YouTube content if I'm not going to say something or give my opinion? And so that's what this is. It's just a bunch of my opinions about Pokemon cards. And if you like this, please like and subscribe and make sure you come back for our 1,000 subscriber follower giveaway because we are going to be doing that soon. So make sure you have the bell notifications turned on for that. Thanks again, guys.